welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. In the 80s, movie theaters ran rampant with muscle-bulging, gun-wielding, steroid-induced, testosterone-filled action movies, and naturally, video games followed suit. Bad Dudes, as it's usually known, is a one to two player cooperative side scrolling beat em up that was developed by Data East in 1988. In this game, you play as either Blade or Striker, a couple of bad dudes who was asked by the Secret Service to rescue the president from a band of ninjas led by the evil Dragon Ninja. You must fight your way through the ninja filled streets of Washington, D.C. and New York City, because you know, these places had a big ninja problem in the 80s. You also get into it on a moving truck, the sewers, a forest, a train, and an evil ninja factory. There's a boss at the end of every level that usually makes a recurring appearance throughout the game. Since your character is a practitioner of the martial arts, you have an arsenal of moves at your disposal. If you hold down the attack button, your character digs in deep and summons up his inner strength for a super punch. But it's really not that effective, so don't even use it. You can also use weapons that enemies drop as well. As usual with these early arcade games, there are international differences. The Japanese version, which is known simply as Dragon Ninja, had a different ending than the American version of the game as seen here. Bad Dudes is pretty brief and easy to run through. You'll probably run through the game in like in half an hour. Now I played this game in the arcades and owned the NES port. Which, since the NES port was released later and Ronald Reagan, otherwise known in the game as Ronnie and is sporting a bad blonde dye job for some reason, was no longer president. In the NES game, Ronnie was replaced with the next former president, George H.W. Bush. Bad Dudes is a cool, fun game to play through. Its awkward cheesiness is in itself part of its charm and popularity. And if you're a curious classic lover, give the game a run through and let me know what you think. 